Hey everyone, my name is Greg Hernandez. I'm a photographer, filmmaker, and video producer from the Bronx. And in this video, I want to highlight one thing, outdoor film screenings. While it is great that drive-in movie screenings have made a comeback this summer, and there have been a lot of outdoor film screenings to combat COVID, there's one glaring omission that I've noticed from film screenings this summer. The lack of highlighting of local film institutions, programs, and initiatives. Case in point, one specific example most recently was the Tribeca Film Institute. They held a drive-in movie screening at Orchard Beach for a month. So every weekend, they would have three to four nights where they would be screening films. So feature films, docs, I believe even short films. And while it was fantastic, excellently produced, safety precautions all done properly, food, bathroom, the works, even non-alcoholic beer and a tote bag, you can get your photo taken. It was amazing. But as a local filmmaker from the Bronx, I have to admit, while I was there and I had a great time, I got to see Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, again, fantastic film, I was left feeling a little empty. I didn't see any highlights of the Bronx Documentary Center, the Bronx Filmmakers Collective, the Bronx Film Initiative, the film festivals in the Bronx, the Bronx Cinema School, the only cinema high school in the country is in the Bronx. I didn't see the highlighting or the building or the promotion of awareness of local film institutions or the film presence here in the Bronx. What is the film scene like in the Bronx for people who are living here, call themselves residents, and those who are not from the Bronx? I think if you have a platform, you should use it, especially now during this pandemic, which I would be remiss if I didn't remind you at the beginning of this quarantine, what did people do? They took to their streaming services and televisions and laptops to watch their shows and movies. They turned to their artists for comfort. And what would be a great, what would be a better way, honestly, to help install or inspire the next generation of visual storytellers and filmmakers by letting them know like, hey, you're from the Bronx, here are institutions, programs, initiatives, here are the places that you can go to in your borough to really nurture your curiosity and your skills of becoming a visual storyteller. I think that is something that has been lacking, sorely lacking, and it needs to be addressed. The Bronx Chamber of Commerce recently had a drive-in uh, movie screening at Orchard Beach as well. It showed the Avengers, or one of the Avengers movies. And I think that's great as well. But then when I ask a couple of uh, my friends who went to the screening, they say, oh, well, they were highlighting Bronx businesses, which once again, during a pandemic, fantastic. But I do think if you are gonna show a film, it is incumbent upon you, I implore you to let your viewers, let the audience know, hey, you came to see a film screening here, well, here's something you may not have been aware of. There's a film presence here. There's a film scene here. So if you're interested in cultivating those skills, learning those skills, and becoming a filmmaker, really taking this craft seriously, because there's so many different disciplines that lead to uh, an array of different careers and jobs, hey, we're going to take, call it a two-minute presentation, images and text highlighting what is near you, what is around you. I've been told before by filmmakers in the Bronx when they've attended events that I've co-produced with with other friends, oh, I almost, I always felt alone in the Bronx. I didn't know many other filmmakers. I didn't know there were others like me here. This is in one of the boroughs of New York City, a city that takes in tens of billions of dollars a year from movies and television production. If you're gonna to come to the Bronx and you're gonna hold a film screening or an outdoor film screening or a drive-in movie screening, take those two minutes, make a presentation, and let your viewers be aware of what the film scene in the Bronx looks like. I challenge the next company or nonprofit 
or program, institution, or, or initiative that does have an outdoor movie program, whether it's this summer or next year or so on into the future, doesn't matter. When you do hold that, along with all of your investors and benefactors and ads and marketing, movie trailers and all of that, all of those promotions, make sure you take the time to promote the existing film institutions, programs, and initiatives in the Bronx.